so Shani goes live earlier today, and of course, I missed it all. I missed everything, but Chantel must have really hit a nerve with Shani, because Shani's loving every bit of this, and so am I. Let's watch. Okay, so... Oh, 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 we, we, we got the beezers bees in, but... No, you're gonna spread lies in my chat. You're gonna be nixed from my chat. Just remember that. Just remember that. So Foodie Beauty decided to go and expose me last night over something that happened five years, almost five years ago in 2020. Um. when my house was broken into, when I was over state lines in Colorado, and people ransacked my house. Oh, so they're trying to say the people that ransacked her house is the one that made everything dirty and filthy. How did they get past the gates of your condos? And took pictures of the house. And then they got in trouble with the law over it. But we're not going to go in that because the reaction channel. Is that true, guys? I don't know if anyone got in trouble over that. So if that's true, let me know. Decided to go and lie about it for years. And I never stood up for myself. That's why I get the amount of hate I did. Because I never stood up for myself, but not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. See, I learned something. I'm not going to take shit from anyone anymore. Not Jason. No. Look at her looking over at Jason as she's saying all that. Girl, quit it. You're busted. Uh, the trolls. Not uh, foodie beauty. God damn, no one. No one. You're gonna say I'm a lie, you're gonna be blocked too. Cause I'm not lying. And you're gonna be top blocked too for lying. Are you gonna derail my chat? I can turn off the chat if you want, so you guys can listen. You want me to do that? You want me to turn off the chat? You want me to turn off the chat? I'll turn off the chat. Look at her. She wants people to beg her not to turn the chat off. She wants people to beg her and tell her, no, we're sorry. We won't say anything. Fuck that. That if you want. I'll turn off the chat if you want. All right. All right. Yes, Kay Yale, I do see you. All right. Mimi Pondu, I'm going to mess this up for everyone. Mimi Pondu. Is it Mimi Pondu, Foodie Beauty? I'll let you win. I'm not going to block you, girl. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know why, but that reminds me of that Chick-fil-A girl that goes lemonade. All right. <laughs> How to you? I, is it Kaylee? my artistic son learn how to spell first but you're just going to continue spreading that keep spreading it i don't care learn how to spell my ass girl you know exactly what the hell they meant though didn't you 
Things were done and set out of anger a long time ago. And this shit has been going over and over and over and over and over and over again for years. All right. Thank you, Kaylee. Now, apparently, someone wants to be glib. Someone wants to be a little smart ass, and someone wants to put this veil of piousness on her. You got no piousness. And we all know Shani Googled sophisticated big words. <laughs> she's all trying to come off like she's, I don't know, some professor or something. Let there be peace. Uh-huh. So. Let's start this monstrosity. With her stupid fucking thing she's played for years and her stupid cameo. Or maybe you just have a person where she's being very message. cringy. You Are you done being cringy? Or message from no, she's not done being cringy. She's just going to continue being cringy. With her filters. Trying to look thinner than what she is. I use no filters. See, booty. I use no filters. Yes, we clearly see that you use no filters. Thank you, Lenny. I love how Shani loves to compare herself to others because others use filters and she doesn't. Girl, you're huge. You got no teeth. Your hair is matted. Okay, you're nothing fucking special. You got skin tags hanging from every part of your body. Girl, shush. She did make a video about me. I, I guess I pissed her off. I'm fine with that. I, I, I'm I fine with pissing you off, bitch. Let me move my, my, uh. Look at that big, dusty ass, stanky ass, flat ass, busted down ass recliner. A little closer. Uh, uh. Ooh. Let me see if this is the right. Uh, yeah, it's just the ball. It'll work. We'll put the CC. All right, she's taking too long. I'm gonna try to trim some of this out real quick. This woman has too much of a history to go over, such as child neglect, making OnlyFans content while her autistic son is in the other room. I don't have any history of child neglect, actually. None. What I do have a history of is people claiming child neglect and calling CPS and then CPS coming over and seeing that nothing that they said was true. You know how FFG harasses you, bitch? Guess what? People do that to me, too. But you gotta throw that in. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. Making OnlyFans content with her autistic son in the other room. You know parents have sex in their bedroom, right? What difference does it make if it's on a recorded? Or it, 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 it's recorded, okay? At nighttime, I'm gonna have sex. I, I just wanna know all the parents out here. How many parents have had sex in their bedroom when the bedroom's next to their child? Raise your hand. How many parents have had sex in their bedroom with their child in the bedroom next to them? How many parents? How many parents? Come on, raise your hand. If you've had sex when your child was in the household, raise your hand. 
Come on. Come on. We damn well know we've all had sex with our children in our households. The fact that she wants to shame me for OnlyFans when she's done OnlyFans too is really fucking dumb. Or how she likes to say the R word. Damn, not even 10 seconds in on Shani. And Shani's already blowing up. She is pissed off right now. Dumbass. And also taking back the man who abused her autistic child after he got out of jail for doing so. But the See, they say abuse. They always say abuse. He hit him. He hit him for doing something he wasn't doing during a bipolar episode. So you just said Jason hit your son for something he didn't do? So Jason kicked and beat up your child over something your child did not do. What the hell? It was a mental health problem. He was in jail for 13 days. I wasn't intending to get... A mental health issue is not an excuse to beat on a child. How dare you give Jason an excuse for what he did? Back with him. At all. And I'm not with him anymore. You were back with him, and you still are, and you have been. You're the definition of a big, fat liar, Shani, because that's what you are. You're a big, fat, lying bitch. Okay. I took him back because he sincerely said sorry. So all a strange man had to do was tell him, tell you he was sorry? After he beat up your child. And you know damn well that wasn't the first time he put his hands on your kid. And had me look at his medical papers. And all of that We don't stuff care. And show me that it wasn't actually really his fault. Because he can go into psychotic moments in his life. Yeah, and yet you still chose that strange man over your two boys. You let them get taken away rather than just leave with them. You could have gotten all kinds of help, housing assistance, food assistance, everything had you chosen to take your boys. But you didn't. You chose that man. That's why I left him. Because I can't do it anymore. I need my peace. You dig? She hasn't left Jason. She's still in his house. You guys see the cardboard back there? She's covering the window. She's still in that smelly-ass chair. And, and you want to talk about a man smacking someone when you took Nader back how many fucking times? After he abused the shit out of you? Do you not hear yourself right now? You're comparing a grown woman to a child to children you're a dumbass shanny you really are you want to talk about abuse of a child when you've had two abortions honey you're the biggest murderer abusive bitch out there don't come and judge me okay my kids are still alive yours are dead you see how she keeps bringing up my children So now she's shaming somebody for an abortion. I mean, we don't know why she had an abortion. It could have been medical reasons. You don't know that, Shani. No, hidden is not abuse. It's discipline. I didn't like it. He got what he paid for. And he served his time. He did 13 days in jail. You're acting like he served prison time, you dumbass bitch. He should pay those boys that 700 k But no, you both were fatties and ate up all that money. And Jason, now you're suffering like the boys suffered.
The real creme de la creme is when she recently went on a rant about my dieting and eating habits, claiming she is working on herself and I am not doing anything to help myself. No, you're not doing anything to help yourself. Shall we show the hours and hours of you eating yourself to an early grave? That's the creme, the creme. It's, it's me criticizing your eating habits. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. You're the one who came after me first. And now you're talking like you're some kind of victim. You're not a victim. Certainly not with me, you're not a victim. Honey, you're the perpetuator. You're the abuser. You're the bully. I'm just sticking up for myself. From a hateful, evil woman like you. Who uses Islam as an excuse to be around a man who wants to fuck other women. Just like you tried to force yourself on Nader, you're trying to buy another man and it's never gonna work. Cause guess what? I guarantee he thinks I'm prettier than you. Okay, Shani, you're just so much prettier than everybody. We get it. Cause you don't use filters, huh? You're so fucking delusional. Have you not looked in the mirror lately, girl? Have you not? And he loves his big boobied women. Don't you guys love how Shani talks about her boobies? Like there's some big implants or something. Girl, they're long. They're flat. <laughs> and they got sores all over them. That's what you say. Because it's not the truth. It's spreading lies. Shani, you literally cannot stand up. You cannot wipe your ass. You see how she's being an ableist here? I can't stand up. I cannot wipe my ass. Those are things you and Jason both tell everybody. That's why you're so disabled, remember? You can't walk, you can barely stand up, and you can't wipe hmm. yourself. At least I don't shit my pants in Thailand after gorging a bunch of fucking 7-Eleven food and sitting in it and then wearing the same thing for days after I sit shitted in my fucking outfit like you. You couldn't even take a shower with your shitty ass. You sit there all day making excuses yourself. As what excuses am I making? I ain't making no excuses. I'm doing the thing that you should be doing, but you decided not to do it because you'd rather stuff food in your mouth. To why you are too disabled to take care of your own children. I make excuses to why I'm too disabled to take care of my children. Woman! Woman! Having arthritis all over your body? isn't an excuse okay and i don't spend every day of my life giving excuses on why i can't take care of my children i know i can't take care of my children but it doesn't even matter with that it don't even matter with that i don't use excuses on why i'm too disabled for it i know i'm disabled what the fuck you expect like someone breaks in the house i can't walk right my kids are in the house how am I supposed to defend them? Okay? I can't I can't drive anymore because my ankle can't move right because of the osteoarthritis. So how am I supposed to get my kids anywhere? If I can't drive. Would you shame a paralyzed person? Because they have kids and they like I I, I need someone to help me with my kids. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't know what you are talking about. Shame me. I don't use excuses. Okay? I have osteoarthritis and fibromyalgia, and it's one of the most painful fucking existence that you could ever think of. Very de debilitating shit. 
Meanwhile, I've seen women in wheelchairs with no limbs take better care of their kids. You have zero room to educate anyone on any type of care themselves. <laughs> Did you see Shani's face just change just now? That made her mad. What women in wheelchairs do you know taking care of their kids, foodie? Name names. Bullshitter. You're full of shit. I guarantee the wheelchair lady has people helping her with her kids. Because medical professionals will tell you that. Social workers will tell you that. You're full of shit and you're lying through your teeth. Just to try to get to me. I, I know you too well. You don't know me as much as I know you, girl. Know that. Or pets. Let's hear what this other skinny queen has to say. Yella. Right. Oh, I need to have my snacks. I need to have my snacks. I need to go and eat. I need to go and eat. People need to eat. Then eat properly. Or shut the fuck up about this diet and shit. Because yeah. what you're doing is you're damaging people and you're giving false information out to people who are actually trying to fucking fix their lives. She trying to fix There's her life. me talking shit to you now. Yeah, I am trying to fix my life. I want to be able to walk again without severe fucking pain. I want to be able to lose weight and feel good in my skin again, which I have been, because I ain't giving up this Ozempic thing like you, foodie. Chantal, all you on. do is fucking eat, Chantal. You don't try to take care of yourself. You're on a fucking diet for two days that we know of. Okay. While you're getting chips every couple days. <laughs> She's getting out. chocolate. Yeah. Slathering up. Them motherfucking chips and chocolate has got Shani pissed off. Your food and fucking cream, cheese, butter, fucking shit, and, and, and neglect. You neglect your own ass. Uh-huh. Talk Every day you're neglecting your ass. Every day you're not taking care of yourself. Every day you're giving your audience excuse after excuse and after excuse and giving people who have actual problems. Now I know why she said I give excuses for my uh my disabilities. I'm just gonna cut my video right here. It's just getting too long already. But this is so entertaining. I can't believe this is happening. So, anyways, I'll see y'all later.